This is a viewfinder for a telescope. It's essentially a low magnification telescope that helps you aim the larger telescope. This one's special because it has broken crosshairs. Let's take a look. We're going to go ahead and fix this really fast. And the crosshairs are very, very fine. Let's see if we can get a good view of this. You can see the hairs, right? And they're, they're actually broken. They're extremely fine. We're going to have to open this up. It's got a little interior nut that unscrews. I think I found the finest wire that I could find. It's this tiny uh, copper wire, electrical wire. So I'm going to pull some strands out and use this as a replacement. This is actually thicker than the stuff that's, that's in here. Let's see if we can give you a comparison. So there's the new stuff. It's much thicker, but that's about the best I can do right now. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is remove this interior ring. There's two little slots that uh, make it possible, but you need either needle nose pliers or some kind of special tool. I'm going to try this with needle nose. All right, so the way they did this, they apparently laid the wires across here with little dabs of glue, and then they just screwed in like that and squeezed it flat. Now, um, it's very important that the focal distance is the same there. Um, I'll probably go ahead and clean the lenses a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and repair this using these wires. Okay, so here's what we've got. I've taken the lenses and everything out of here. I'm going to end up using this as a tool. Here is the piece. It's threaded. And it has, if I, and I looked really close under a magnifying glass, where the wires cross over, there's the tiniest of grooves cut into this. And I'm going to take this little triangular file and recut those grooves so that I can put the new wires. And these are, of course, the thinnest wires that I could find. I'm going to put them across there. Now, there's going to be an issue in that the wires aren't very tight. Uh, and they might sag. So I'm going to do this while they're up here and I'm going to use tape to keep the wires as tight as possible. So first we have to cut these little grooves. They're very tiny. All right, let's move on to the next one. We almost need a microscope for this telescope, at least for the work we're doing. All right. So that's ready to go. Now we just need to glue the wires in. And I'm going to use some epoxy. It's not going to take much. This is the part B, the hardener. Mix it up really well. Now I need a very fine point. I'm actually going to use the edge of this X-Acto knife to get the epoxy in here. This is five minute epoxy, so we kind of have to work quickly. this over here so I don't mess it up. Take our first strand and just lay it across there in the grooves. Pull it as tight as possible. It's going to be tricky I can tell. We're going to use a little bit of tape. Just make sure this is being, it's in the groove. Let's 
Get a little bit of a glue epoxy on there. Let's take another strand. Let me make sure the glue is down there. You got a little blob of glue. Gotta get rid of that. Here's the new crosshairs. And here it is. You can see where the epoxy was put on. I'm going to set this down and uh, let the epoxy cure for a while and then we'll put it back into the body of the viewfinder and we'll be all done. And once we've got the crosshair ring screwed back in, we just thread it back in like this and we're done. Here's what it looks like before and here's what it looks like after. You can tell that the copper wire is a little bit thicker but it still looks good. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Clear skies, everybody.